I'm astounded by how well this terrarium is done. It's coming up to a year old and the plants inside are, are largely healthy. I estimated that it would survive for a few months because I'm really not a fan of just leaving terrarium sealed up, um, but this terrarium has proven me wrong, so let's take a closer look. So this is Begonia Shoalsai, and it's one of my favorite terrarium plants because it just doesn't seem to die, and it's done so well in this terrarium, even though the Nephrolepis fern has totally engulfed it. It's reared its head so it can receive some light and I'm really pleased that it's doing so well. It's even started flowering. This plant right here is Peperomia rotundifolia and it's one of my favourite terrarium plants because like Begonia shoalsi, it just doesn't seem to die, which is obviously a good thing. It's pushing out a lot of aerial roots, which is a sign that it's healthy. The Ficus thunbergii, or oak leaf fig, has grown healthily too, but I have noticed quite a few of the leaves have rotted away. Thankfully, the plants are constantly pushing out new leaves, so long may that continue. This mountain of green is Nephrolepis exaltata marissa, and it's doing so well in here. The terrarium is now positioned in a window that doesn't get any direct light, and I've noticed that since I placed it there, the plants inside this terrarium have done a lot better. I suppose there really is no substitute for natural light. I really like adding leaf litter to terrariums because it keeps the microfauna happy and provides a long-term food source. All the maple leaves have pretty much gone now, and because I'm not going to open the terrarium again, I can't put any more in. But it's normal for plants to shed the older leaves and push out new ones, and I can see that there are quite a few leaves dying in here, which I'm viewing as a positive. But it's not all good news because I put a colony of springtails in here when I made the terrarium, and up until a few weeks ago they were doing so well, but I can see their little bodies in there now, and none of them are moving, so... Generally speaking, I don't tend to add drainage layers into a terrarium, especially smaller ones, as I think correct watering negates the need for one, but it does create an air pocket at the bottom, which isn't a bad thing. As you can see, the roots have found their way into this layer. The function of charcoal in a terrarium is something else I'm skeptical of, and in all honesty, I'm pretty sure that it's doing absolutely nothing here. I created a high quality soil out of worm castings, sphagnum moss, lava rock, coir, activated charcoal and akadama. I'm fairly certain that this is a key aspect to the health of this terrarium because it's a very open soil that's also water retentive. It's pretty crazy that this is a year old and I've not opened it once in that time. I can't tell you how badly I want to open it and take some cuttings of that begonia, but I'll stay true to my original video and this is gonna stay sealed up forever. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching and I'd like to personally invite you to join our beginner friendly Facebook discussion group. It's called Terrarium Group and the link is in the description below. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.